Right, here's a, a diagram that's quite important. Um, uh, supposing we've got uh, these defined, so B for byte, S for short, C for char, and, and so on. Uh, and the question is, um, what uh, can we set equal to? Right, so we're trying here, we've got um, this double here, and we're trying to set this uh, double equal to this byte, trying to put this value of this byte into that double. And uh, likewise with uh, this uh, double, we're trying to set it equal to a char. And uh, the question is, is it uh, will it work or not? And um, the answer is, if it, uh, if you are starting um, somewhere down here and you follow these arrows in this direction, if you can follow these arrows in this direction to the um, uh, the uh, destination type on the left hand side, then it will work fine. So you can assign byte to an integer because that's fine, but you can't assign byte to a char because it's going the wrong direction down here to get there. Likewise, you can't assign a char to a short because that will go in the wrong direction. The compiler will object. And it will give this error. It will say error possible loss of precision if you try and do that. So that, uh, for example, tells you what you can assign to where and it will do it quite happily. So you should uh, commit this uh, diagram to memory because it's uh, quite important. Now when it comes to literal assignments, um, uh, remember that uh, the literal types we've got are uh, for, uh, we have a, a char character literal, we've got uh, integer literals, long literals, floats and doubles. And uh, the same sort of principle applies, and remember that um, a uh, character literal is uh, lies between 0 and 65535, that's it, decimal. Uh, easy enough, I think. So that, that uh, can easily be signed into an integer that's at your room. And um, if it's written like that, B, in quotes like that, uh, um, just remember that's just a fancy way of writing uh, 42, that's the code point for B, or 66 in decimal if you prefer. And um, if you see a hex number, just think of it as a being a, as a bit pattern in hex. That's straightforward. And um, uh, this process of assigning um, up the tree is called widening because you're taking something um, which is uh, uh, smaller in size, that's it. it takes up fewer bytes, fewer bits are required, into something with uh, more room. So it uh, works quite easily. There's nothing you have to do, it's simple. simple. Um, so things like um, when it comes to literals, you can say um, some double is equal to. Um, Z, which is a pretty meaningless thing to do, but um, you can do it if you want to. It doesn't hurt. Um, and the rule is very inflexible. So I think it's that rule. So if you have an integer and uh, you try and assign a zero with L afterwards, the L makes it long, and you can't assign a long number to an integer. Even though it would fit, you can't do that. It's the compiler will give an error and say possible loss of precision. It's quite an inflexible rule, but you can do it the other way, of course. So there's a zero there, which is going to be treated as an integer, an integer literal. You can assign that to a long quite happily. It widens perfectly okay. Right, that's a widening. But, um, so far, we've looked at. Um, how to use literals to set values in um, in uh, chars, ints, uh, longs, and various floats. But we haven't looked at um, bytes and shorts yet, so that's what we're going to look at now. And um, this involves the concept of um, implicit narrowing of literals. And uh, this is uh, almost the almost the opposite of widening that we've looked at. And um, it occurs when you've got uh, integer literals and char literals and you're assigning them to um, short or byte or char type. So let's have a look at that and um, now it's done. Right, first thing to note is that it, um, the right hand side, uh, the actual literal itself, is fully calculated first and 
the assignment is then okay only so long as it will fit in the um, size range of the type on the left hand side of the equals. Okay, so let's look at the first example. Um, now this is going to fail because we've got a byte here and uh, on the right hand side uh, we've got 255. Remember this is an integer, it's just an ordinary integer literal and uh, the range for byte is minus 128 to plus 127 and so the FF value which is 255 is not going to fit in there. If we look at this you think on the face of it that this would be even more even worse but um, in fact it works because this if you recall is an integer and it's equal to minus 1 and that's quite okay because minus 1 uh, fits perfectly well in the range of minus 128 to 127. So that's quite okay. Similarly, if you look at this, this is uh, backslash U007F, and um, that's a char, and um, it's just a fancy way of um, saying 127. And 127 is okay, that just fits in that range of, uh, in the range allowed for bytes. Here's an example, um, which is a, an error, because this is a long, and straight away you can't, uh, you don't have any implicit narrowing with longs, so that's not allowed. It'll give an error straight away if you try that. Here we've got a, um, um, a char which we're setting to to that, and that's minus one. And um, chars, if you recall, are positive, so the char ranges from naught to six five five three five on the right hand side is minus one so it's not going to work. That'll give an error. Uh, this on the other hand is two five five. It's an integer two five five and that's quite okay that will work without any problems. Here we've got a short and this is a char and the char is equal if you calculate that out it's equal to 32768 and I should say short actually short's are minus 32768 to plus 32767 so it's just fours outside the range and so you get an error from that and this is really the same thing again but using an integer so there's not really any difference here again it's going to fail for the same reason if you look at this uh, this as a bit pattern here, this is fine because this, if you calculate it, is minus 32768 and it fits exactly in there, so that's no problem. Now, the general rule for um, setting a type of uh, short byte or char equal to either an integer or char literal is to work out the right hand side as a decimal value and ask does it fall in the range of the left hand side and if it does then the assignments fine and it will work and if it doesn't you get an error message from the compiler and that's the general way that you work that out